Okay, geometry, 9.2, less, less than 406. No, probably not. Page 406. This is about surface area. Surface area prisms and cylinders. Okay, uh, surface area prisms and cylinders. They give you some theorems here. I'll let you read those. Surface area prisms and cylinders. We're going to be dealing with lateral surface area. Okay, lateral surface area is perimeter times height. Uh, when we're dealing with a figure like a prism or a cylinder, it's perimeter to the base times height. Surface area of an object. This is a good formula to have. Surface area of any kind of three-dimensional object. Surface area is the area of the base times two. Set that aside. Plus the lateral surface area. That means the perimeter of the base times the height of the object. Now, when we say area of the base, we have triangles, we have uh, rectangles, and we have circles. Those are what we have. Now, on I think it's one through one, two, three, A, B, C, A, B, C D, E, and F. They ask for a bunch of different uh, formulas for area. Area triangle, base times height divided by two. An equilateral triangle is radical three over four times side squared. A square is side times side. A, a rectangle is base times height. A rhombus is diameter times diameter divided by two. Trapezoid is uh, uh, one base plus a top base plus the other base times the height divided by two or break it into two triangles, base times height divided by two plus base times height divided by two. Corner to corner, two triangles. Pentagon, it's uh, five divided by two times the apothem times the side, the apotherm, apothem, whichever way to say it right. Hexagon, three times the radical three divided by two times side squared. Okay, what's going on in a hexagon is it's made up of six equilateral triangles. There's six equilateral triangles. That's where this comes from. If you multiply this by six, that's what you get. Okay, just if you want to have those. Okay, so what you're going to do here is like uh, if you want to find the surface area of a right circular cylinder, and I'm not going to do many of these. You guys should be pretty good at it by now. Oh, just remember what you're doing, okay? So if this is, a, I don't know, that's a 4, we'll make this a 10. So I'm going to go to the area of the base times 2. Area of the base, that's right here. There's two of these. So that's 3.14 times 16 times 2. There, times 2. I'm just going to set that aside, plus... I want the perimeter of the base. That's called the circumference of the circle, right? 3.14 times 8. Circumference, uh, uh, that's perimeter of the base times the height of the object, 10. Get this number, get this number, add them together. That's the surface area, okay? Uh, all you got to do on here is 1 through 14. Just Watch your numbers. Make sure you're doing the right one. And watch this. On some of these, they're going to ask for lateral surface area and then the entire surface area. That's called two answers.